I really don't care what one's background is, what their color is, what their beliefs are. We treat everyone as if they were created in God's image and deserve love and respect. The first African American to bowl in Tampa bowled in the center on Armenia Avenue. Maybe a year later, I was contacted by a group and they wanted to start a black bowling league. It was 1970 when we started here. Blacks weren't more than in a lot of places, so for a, a white establishment to greet us with welcome home and say, come on in, I can't forget that. From the bowling center standpoint, we're colorblind and politically neutral. If a person wants to bowl, then they're more than welcome. Well, my husband and I used to go practice bowling, and then we heard about the hitters and misses. And so we came over here and we joined the league. That year, the hitters and missers started bowling and continue to bowl today. The Monday Mix Classic League is predominantly a gay league. I started bowling in the Monday Mix Classic League about 31 years ago. A few years later, uh, we had the largest league in Pin Chasers and probably one of the largest leagues in the city of Tampa. I don't care whether you're homosexual, heterosexual, bisexual, or any sexual that I'm not familiar with. If you abide by the code of ethics and the code of conduct, you'll be more than welcome to bowl here. If you want return to customers and you want support, you need to show that you can be open to all types of people. And I consider Pin Chasers to be very people friendly. Pin Chasers is a fun place to be because of the staff. They get along with everybody. That goes along with caring and being personal. We want to be a family-friendly, safe, fun place for people to go. When people are having fun, it's not really a job. I've never worked a day in my life. I've spent a lot of time in bowling centers, 60 years, and I truly mean that. I've never worked a day in my life.